What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Sam and Max. Episode number six, Right Side of the Moon, I believe is its name. So Bosco's mama is here. And uh, she was selling us something in an earthquake maker, which I don't know exactly what that's going to be useful for, but somehow it's going to pertain to space because I presume you want to shake the earth from space or shake the moon. Maybe, maybe a moonquake maker, I don't know. Uh, not entirely clear to me, but in any case, we have got our pink unicorn horn, red unicorn horn, and we're heading back to the moon. So, uh, we're gonna perhaps already be meeting, uh, Hubless? It's so soon. Where are we headed now, Sam? I don't know if I'm ready for that, but let's go. To the moon, Alice. Alice. <laughs> like, as in Alice in Wonderland? Why the moon? How does that connect? But in any case, I still find it hilarious that the car is a ship. And like, we could have just gone to the moon any, any time, given the fact that the car can fly, apparently. Although, I guess the fact that it's been flying in the opening credits of every episode doesn't rule it out of, out of the realm of possibility. Apparently, this is Bosco's satellite. I think that's a satellite. I don't know how I was supposed to know that, but Super Ball! Take a look at my unicorn. Let us in. Have you achieved level red yet? Yes. yes. I'm utterly flabbergasted, sir. I'd suspect a trick, but surely no level red prismatologist would stoop so low. We never stoop. We're posture freaks. Yeah, love us. Enjoy the Set retreat, brothers. Ooh. Whoa, that was cool. We just travel through dimensions. Whoa, magic. Of course, of course it's magic. Hugh Bliss would do magic. Whoa, he's got a, a crystal Sam, statue Sam, of himself. There he is! It's Hugh Bliss! This place looks Hi, so cool! Whoa. I'm Hugh Bliss! Hi, Hugh Bliss! I so hope you're enjoying my blister of tranquility. You're all making such great progress unlocking the secrets of prismatology, and I couldn't be more delighted. Neither could I! Cool it, Max. You're scaring me more than usual. I have <laughs> splendid news! My top secret plan. Top secret. He's monologuing. The world is nearly complete. Why do you guys always monologue? Soon, everyone on Earth will become one of us. An None alien shall escape. It'll be fabulous. <laughs> You're a good man. Bravo, bravo. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. I love how yeah, everyone yeah. is here. Awesome. Now pour it, yeah, yeah. Everyone had a little cameo. This guy really knows how to work a room. Yeah. Keep up the great work, everyone. I'm tickled pink. Ha <laughs> ha. You know, An to be honest, I'm still trying to figure out what's wrong with him. It's like a dream. <laughs> the kind of dream where you wake up screaming with a gun in your hand, your pillow torn to shreds, and the upstairs neighbors calling 911. That's right. The best kind. <laughs> oh, Max, I love you. My inner sanctum. Thank you. <laughs> well, that's exactly where we're going to head, to the inner sanctum. I'm still trying to figure out why hubless is bad um obviously mind control is not good do make people do things against their will is not good but at the same time can someone tell me like what is so evil about hubless because i'm finding it hard to hate the guy he's weird and he's dramatic and strange but i'm just finding it hard to hate him you know most villains like you can hate this guy is just like we're trying to stop him because he's placed in the villain role i need to figure out why we're trying to stop him <laughs> basically i guess mind control is a good reason Actually, that's probably a good reason. I don't know why I'm not more opposed to it. <laughs> Hideous Hugh Head! Is that alliteration? Does alliteration work with... Whee! Is H a vowel or consonant? I always get confused. Or coming out. I think it depends on which way you're facing. That still doesn't answer the question. But okay. What is the rainbow about? And why has he got a giant spork and a statue? I never such a cool playground, guys. I, I this I is so cool. Can I go to the moon and find this? Spork I ever saw outside of Chicago. Okay, Chicago has bad sporks. <laughs> Lincoln, buddy, and there's Mr. Spatula. What's Look, up, Lincoln? Max, it's the giant stone head of your old opponent, Abraham Lincoln. Welcome, he went to the moon. Brethren, Everyone goes to the moon to the when you defeat them. Oh, it's you two. <laughs> Not so tough without your fancy giant robot body, are you? I can still bite off your fluffy little uh, ears I or mean, tail. Let me help you, brother, to overcome the orange of confrontation <laughs> and bathe in the yellow Ooh. of peace and brotherhood. Bathe in the yellow? That sounds what gross. What kind of camp is this? 
<laughs> the one where you pee in the snow, clearly. Um, right. Uh... Is it actually helping you? Please convince me. You Sell it to me. I'm working to master the miraculous power of gastrokinesis. You can teleport Cuban dictators? Well, yes, but now I'm working on gastrokinesis. <laughs> the ability to make anyone throw up with my mind. Wow. Your mind. I thought it was going to be like make people throw up, like... Not throw up. Control people or move people with your with your <laughs> gastric powers, like your gut. <laughs> Eat something weird and just move them. That's weird. But I guess it makes more sense to be like make people throw up, make them sick with your brain. Um, I'm not trying to say the Cuban thing, but uh, uh, perhaps I don't know who uh, Gastro is. <laughs> and this is meant to sound like another name. Ways to make people throw up. Teach us. Yeah. Please. As it is now, I can make people vomit with every part of my body except my mind. <laughs> well, Max has not yet made me vomit, to be honest, so I don't I believe that. I suppose I'm obliged to help you. But there's a problem. I accidentally swallowed the gastrokinesis talisman. Sam, no, is that bad. ironic or sarcastic? It's pretty damned inconvenient. <laughs> it's, it's, bro it's both. <laughs> Can't Come you on. make yourself throw up the gastrokinesis talisman? Oh, his body's not even here. I have thrown up since 1863, right after I gave the Gettysburg Address. That was the last time you threw up? I was kind of nervous that day. <laughs> I didn't have anything prepared. You haven't thrown up in nearly, like, 150 years? Come on. Can't you make yourself throw up the gastrokinesis talisman? You have to find your body? I haven't thrown up since 1860. I was kind of... Okay, that's not going to help. You're not still bitter about the election, are you? I or think he's quite bitter. Or your public humiliation? Or the cruise missile that blew your body to tiny... He's got a lot of things to be election. bitter about. Heck no. Being president is for chumps. Oh, you hear that, Only Max? Only a grade-A wow. sociopathic masochist would want that thankless job. Grade-A? I'm flattered. <laughs> he is great, eh? I, I, I love how they always complimenting Max. Why the long marble face? Because you two made me lose something more valuable than an election. My one chance at true love. This is all oh. happening so fast. I don't know what to say. <laughs> Not you, <laughs> moron. I'm talking about that radiant oh, vision of Sybil? beauty you had interrupt my really? family value speech. You mean Sybil? What? Sybil, it's <gasps> like a chorus of angels. This is amazing. Can we can we hook you up? I'll do it. I'll do it. Sybil needs someone. We've been complaining that she's always behind her desk, right? Aren't you married? Not what anymore. Like married? 150 Your years ago. But devoted wife. Why don't you find a nice giant statue of her? Settle down and start cranking out little bouncing baby <laughs> war memorials. There is that how it works? Left. Lady Bird Johnson had all graven images of former first ladies destroyed during the Great Enlightenment of 1963. The... what's the Great Enlightenment of 1963? Did you, did you just make that up? Um... Or, or is this a legit thing, guys? Is 1963, is this connected to, like, the Civil Rights Movement? What Was, was your wife, like, racist AF and that's why they destroyed her statue? I don't know. It doesn't sound like a legit thing, but okay. Uh, how can a head find love? Can we get, can can we get a head with that? can you have a complete relationship with someone when you're, well, missing some keys? Hey, 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 not everything what? has to be physical. You, gonna make time you know, with the ladies, AL? it's romantic love, too. Obviously, you two never read Cosmo. Also, you're really out of date. Like, there are people who are not even interested in that kind of thing. It's a thing. How can you expect... What? How you gonna... Obviously. Hey, okay, Sam and Max need some educating. We can give you Sybil's phone number so you can set up a date. If, if we make it work, then y'all will know. Fifty years, I wouldn't know what to say. Phone, Max. <laughs> Whoa, just like if that. You'd like to make a love connection? Oh. Press or say hell yeah. Say hell yeah. yeah. Say hell yeah. Just follow my lead, Mr. Lincoln. Hello. You got this. Civil pandemic speaking. Uh, I don't know why hi. we're doing this, but let's do it. It's Abraham Lincoln. Oh. Oh, <laughs> she's so gonna be so mad about it. After how you treated me. Wait, don't hang up. Uh, Lincoln plus Sybil equals XC. Wow, I got needs, baby. Uh, I'm issuing a emancipation proclamation. Just relax. What? Um, hmm. I don't know. I don't think she's in it for the physical stuff, to be honest. So if that one is probably ruled out. I got needs. Maybe that's explaining. No, that just sounds like a lazy answer. 
Uh, just relax. One of these has to work. You know what? The only way is trial and error. I'm sure we can call again, right? Uh, let's try this one. I don't know what that means. I am issuing you a Romancipation Proclamation. Let's set aside our differences and commence on the reconstruction. Hmm. Call me back in four score and seven years. <laughs> okay. That was not the right one. Let's try let's again. Try calling. Yeah. Hello? Hi. It's Abe again. Um, we're gonna try one of these. See Just what happens. relax, baby. Think positive. And that is not gonna, gonna work. It all better. Even look at Sam's face. He's just like WTF. Well, I do believe in proper relaxation. Oh. Maybe you have changed. How did that work? That I'd listen, I'd be like, what a load of phony. Like, you're completely gone. <laughs> okay. Um, Stone Cold Fox. Wow. You got a body that won't quit. You got curves like a racetrack. <laughs> Almost as hard as your sister. Don't say that. Why Why would you say it? You know what? <laughs> I want to hear what she says. <laughs> this is not going to run well. You're really hot. I can't wait to go on double dates with you and your sister. Oh, yeah? Well... Hello. The rest of this conversation has been blocked by FCC. That Michael. actually worked. Or did it block it because, like, it, it wouldn't let the, the conversation continue? Okay, I, I was just trying to figure Hi, out, like, what happened? Did we, again. did we time jump or did, did was the FCC just like, no, 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 no. This is not going on YouTube. <laughs> Rewind. I'm going to try the other two just to see what happens. Because I'm trying to figure out if there's a pattern maybe. here. I may be made of stone, but your love is my chisel. That old line. I think we're gonna have either we trial and error this or we go to Let's Sybil to find Sybil out again. like what kind of personality Hello? she has. Hi, it's Abe again. Why did just relax work? I wouldn't you like to be told to just relax. Because I'm having an explosive reaction. The formula Lincoln plus Sybil equals ecstasy. <laughs> she fell for the, the relax all. line. I thought like at least the romance patient proclamation would work because he's like trying to say we'll, you know, we'll let's figure it out, fix Sibyl things. Again. But Hello? let's try, see Hi. if one of these will work. Again. Uh, just relax. I want to <laughs> figure out why this works. Just relax, baby. Think positive. And That's because it said think positive in the room. Better. And it had relax in the room. No, well, I Iman. Relax, eh? Okay, so if that's the case, we gotta keep referencing things in the room. Great. Okay, well, we're gonna try out every line because it's gonna be hilarious. So. <laughs> Woman, you got a body that just won't quit. That may have worked in the 1800s, Abe, but it just shows how little you know me. <laughs> you haven't even been to her office, clearly, that we have to tell you these Let's things. Try Actually, again. He, he probably didn't even have a phone. I, he definitely again. did not have a phone back in the day so there is no way that he had experienced this to be honest just relax i i don't even know how i could handle these kind of conversations over the phone i'd rather you know speak to the person in, in like in person and sort stuff out but apparently some people do this Girl, i mean you got tighter curves times. than a nascar track what who talks like that abraham lincoln does Apparently, or Sam, I guess. Again. This is why Sam yeah. is single I and only <laughs> Max is with him. Uh, because you know what? You don't need to sweet talk Max. Max doesn't like sweet talk. He, li he likes it Just like relax, violent talk. Baby. Think. Okay. Max likes it rough. Uh, stop there, Iman. Okay. Lady, you a stone called fox. So this is the foxes on top of the cacti. Lady, you a stone cold fox. I'm so glad I figured out that connection. Whoa, Max, hold back. Uh, all right. Max, what are you doing? Damn. You sabotaging? Oh, well, you're pretty foxy yourself. And I happen to love foxes. All right, maybe I'll give you another chance. If we go out on a date, what do you want to do? Ooh. Start our alien love triangle, tattoo my head all over your body. Ooh. Play some one-on-one -on -one love hockey. Lie down and get psychoanalyzed. I think it's going to be the love hockey because all these other three things she's already done. I think that's what it's going to be. 
Because she's she's going to be like, I, I left this behind in the past. I don't want to do this anymore. So... Oh, I'm going to try all the ones that match like what she's done and see what Martian happens. Martian babe and show her it takes three to tango. Whew. Aliens are so four months I knew it was going to be that. If you knew me, you'd have realized that. Threat. I feel a bit weird that the only female character basically functions as part of like a love triangle story. Let's try calling Sybil again. Uh, we've, we've got like... Hi, it's Abe again. We've got female villains and stuff, but it'd be great to Just see relax, more women baby. in more roles. And I'm saying this as a woman. I feel like I can say these things. Lady. Okay. <laughs> Let's... Let's see. Tattoo my head all over your body. We'll pull out some needles and ink, and I'll give you something to remember me by. She's so what over that. Were six months ago, Abe. I've okay, that so six Ooh, months rats. ago was before we started Sam and Max, so every episode has been one month, is what it's telling me. Okay, Sybil, so we are almost there. One more error, and then one more right. Okay, uh, not, we're not doing the sister line again. That was bad. I want to hear him say damn. <laughs> All right. Damn. Oh, Lincoln, right. man. Well, the way you say yourself. that. And I happen to love foxes. All right. Maybe I'll give you another chance. If we All right. Thing, what do you want to do? A lie down and get psychoanalyzed. She probably doesn't want to do work. We'll get on a date together. Stretch out on the couch. She's got a couch, to be honest. Share parts of ourselves we never knew we had. Psychotherapy? Yawn. I'm afraid we just don't have enough in common. Shoot. <laughs> no, you have too much in common to the point that she's just like Let's bored. Try some. Hello? Hi. She she goes through phases like so quickly. <laughs> it's kinda hilarious. Just relax. I can't believe she goes through so many phases. Is is love hockey gonna be the next thing she does? I figure we watch a hockey game, have a couple of beers, get some poutine. You know, the usual. Oh, Abe, I never knew you had such a deep appreciation for my culture. It all sounds wonderful. Come is this is this referring to like Canada? Y'all play Did love hockey in Canada? Yes. Hello, you she said yes. Wait, what? Thank you. I missed that. That was too quick. Mr. Lincoln. Oh my gosh. What if she wants to get serious? <laughs> I can't do this. I'm so nervous. I got butterflies. <gasps> this is I how we get her throw up. That was too easy. Where? Stand back, Max. Wherever they are, <laughs> Where? I have a feeling they're coming <laughs> On back Earth up. somewhere. Oh, I don't feel so good. What if she? And I can't. Oh man. Wow, that was kind of cool. I thought our trip to the moon was going to be boring. <laughs> that Max, was so sport, cool. Pick that up for me. Not a chance. <laughs> Hey Lincoln, can I take Max, this? Like you, you, you I'm not this sure one. why you'd want to use the power of prismatology to make people throw up, but go ahead. I've got more important things to. I about. am going to try this on everyone. I'm going to try this on everyone. There is no way I'm letting this power be be wasted. I can make people toss their rainbow cookies with this. Max. <laughs> Is it gonna work? Whoa! He was facing the wrong way. Ooh, colorful. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, let's. Uh, so basically, everyone throws up rainbows. I think it only works on things with stomachs. That is a lie. I just saw him throw up. Why are you lying to me, Max? Okay, uh, Sam. Okay, let's make Max actually throw up on camera. <laughs> it's so cool. He looks so happy too. Oops. There it is again. Oh, that was hilarious. There it is again. Come on, Max. What are you going to say the third time? Okay, that just looks dodgy. <laughs> Cut that out. <laughs> it's like, enough. I can't record uh, uh, any more like voiceover lines for this. Enough. Can we do it on ourselves? Cut that out. <laughs> yeah, he's like, the director's not going to be happy if I have to pay for more voiceovers. Sam, do it on yourself. Not happening. Not happening. All right, let's chat to Mr. Spatula. Mr. Spatula, so this is where you've been. We were worried sick. Couldn't you at least have left a note? Yeah, uh, sorry, Sam. He sent us an email. <laughs> Max! To tell you. Seriously, he's been gone for how long? He didn't even tell us. I hate to say it, but he does look more enlightened. 
Oh, almost zero G will do that to you. I almost said zero G, but almost zero G will do that to you. Uh, will it I'm work not on the fish? <laughs> interested in seeing the contents of his stomach. I am, Sam. Why do you insist on rebelling against everything I tell you to do? I'm just looking to see if there's anything else in the immediate area to interact with. Let's uh, use the unicorn, because I've been told to use that on everything now. Not happening. Oh, I wanted to see what the fish would say. Hey, Lincoln, want to rub my unicorn? Never mind. Oh, God. Wow. He's just like, you just hooked me up. Now you want to do this with me. Like, come on. It's serious. It's serious. You know my life. Why are you doing this? All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I'm going to walk out into the middle of the room, see what kind of sized room we're dealing with. I might trigger something by accident, but I just want to kind of see what we're dealing with. So we got a tunnel over there. It looks like a roller coaster ride. This game is a freaking roller coaster ride. Now it's got a roller coaster inside the roller coaster ride, <laughs> uh, which is even on the moon. How trippy is that? And we got Philo Pennyworth here. I almost said Mr. Pennyfeather. I don't know why I said that. I thought that. Uh, he's got a magician's hat. I wonder what he'll do there. We got a hole in the moon. Rainbow elevator. Does that take us to Hubless? We should try that. Uh, we got the bug. I don't know why I didn't realize he's not in our inventory. He literally buggered off. Quite literally. And to the moon. How the fuck I just can get anywhere and not, and not like survive anything. So I'm not surprised. This is Shark. And we got all the cops here. Is there anyone I'm missing? We're just missing Myra. <laughs> Myra's not here. Myra, uh, Myra and um, Brady Culture. We can't complain about um, the casino guy. Because he's... Leonard, he's just down on Earth, like, tied up. So that, that's awful. But where are those two? All right, ladies and gentlemen, when we come back on Sam and Max, where I think the first thing I might do is I might try going up the elevator because I know that they're going to say we can't go there. I'm suspecting that. There's no way they'd have all these characters and then you miss the chance to interact with them. So we'll do that just to knock it out of the way. And then we'll work our way around the room, I guess, in an anti-clockwise order, because that's what we've been doing like outwards away oh anti-spiral order there we go anti-spiral order <laughs> and uh clear out the room and i guess we have to do something with this vomiting talisman i'm not sure what um i don't know why we're learning all these magic tricks but i guess going and using the elevator will give us the clue as to what it is we're trying to do instead of just wandering around this really cool theme park which is freaking cool guys yes i'll see you guys next time on Sam and Max, until then, really, please stay sane, stay away from hypnosis, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.